May 3. Duties of the Levites When David was an old man, he appointed his son Solomon to be king over Israel. David summoned all the leaders of Israel together with the priests and Levites. All the Levites who were thirty years old or older were counted, and the total came to thirty-eight thousand. Then David said, From all the Levites, twenty-four thousand will supervise the work at the temple of the Lord. Another six thousand will serve as officials and judges. Another four thousand will work as gatekeepers, and four thousand will praise the Lord with the musical instruments I have made. Then David divided the Levites into divisions named after the clans descended from the three sons of Levi, Gershon, Kohath, and Merari. The Gershonites The Gershonite family units were defined by their lines of descent from Libni and Shimei, the sons of Gershon. Three of the descendants of Libni were Jehiel, the family leader, Zetham, and Joel. These were the leaders of the family of Libni. Three of the descendants of Shimei were Shelemoth, Haziel, and Haran. Four other descendants of Shimei were Jehath, Ziza, Jeush, and Beriah. Jehath was the family leader, and Ziza was next. Jeush and Beriah were counted as a single family because neither had many sons. The Kohathites. Four of the descendants of Kohath were Amram, Izhar, Hebron, and Uziel. The sons of Amram were Aaron and Moses. Aaron and his descendants were set apart to dedicate the most holy things, to offer sacrifices in the Lord's presence, to serve the Lord, and to pronounce blessings in his name forever. As for Moses, the man of God, his sons were included with the tribe of Levi. The sons of Moses were Gershom and Eliezer. The descendants of Gershom included Shebuel, the family leader. Eliezer had only one son, Rehabiah, the family leader. Rehabiah had numerous descendants. The descendants of Izhar included Shelemoth, the family leader. The descendants of Hebron included Jeriah, the family leader, Amariah the second, Jehaziel the third, and Jechamiam the fourth. The descendants of Uziel included Micah, the family leader, and Ishiah the second. The Merarites. The descendants of Merari included Malai and Mushai. The sons of Malai were Eleazar and Kish. Eleazar died with no sons, only daughters. His daughters married their cousins, the sons of Kish. Three of the descendants of Mushai were Malai, Eder, and Jeremoth. These were the descendants of Levi by clans, the leaders of their family groups registered carefully by name. Each had to be twenty years old or older to qualify for service in the house of the Lord. For David said, The Lord, the God of Israel, has given us peace, and he will always live in Jerusalem. Now the Levites will no longer need to carry the tabernacle and its furnishings from place to place. In accordance with David's final instructions, all the Levites twenty years old or older were registered for service. The work of the Levites was to assist the priests, the descendants of Aaron, as they served at the house of the Lord. They also took care of the courtyards and side rooms, helped perform the ceremonies of purification, and served in many other ways in the house of God. They were in charge of the sacred bread that was set out on the table, the choice flour for the grain offerings, the wafers made without yeast, the cakes cooked in olive oil, and the other mixed breads. They were also responsible to check all the weights and measures. And each morning and evening they stood before the Lord to sing songs of thanks and praise to Him. They assisted with the burnt offerings that were presented to the Lord on Sabbath days, at new moon celebrations, and at all the appointed festivals. The required number of Levites served in the Lord's presence at all times, following all the procedures they had been given. And so, under the supervision of the priests, the Levites watched over the tabernacle and the temple and faithfully carried out their duties of service at the house of the Lord. Duties of the Priests This is how Aaron's descendants, the priests, were divided into groups for service. The sons of Aaron were Nadab, Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. But Nadab and Abihu died before their father, and they had no sons. So only Eleazar and Ithamar were left to carry on as priests. With the help of Zadok, who was a descendant of Eleazar, and of Ahimelech, who was a descendant of Ithamar, David divided Aaron's descendants into groups according to their various duties. Eleazar's descendants were divided into sixteen groups, and Ithamar's into eight, for there were more family leaders among the descendants of Eleazar. All tasks were assigned to the various groups by means of sacred lots, so that no preference would be shown, 
for there were many qualified officials serving God in the sanctuary from among the descendants of both Eleazar and Ithamar. Shimea, son of Nethanel, a Levite, acted as secretary and wrote down the names and assignments in the presence of the king, the officials, Zadok the priest, Ahimelech, son of Abiathar, and the family leaders of the priests and Levites. The descendants of Eleazar and Ithamar took turns casting lots. The first lot fell to Jehoiarib. The second lot fell to Jediah. The third lot fell to Haram. The fourth lot fell to Seorim. The fifth lot fell to Melchijah. The sixth lot fell to Mijamin. The seventh lot fell to Hakos. The eighth lot fell to Abijah. The ninth lot fell to Jeshua. The tenth lot fell to Shechaniah. The eleventh lot fell to Eliashib. The twelfth lot fell to Jacob. The thirteenth lot fell to Hupa. The fourteenth lot fell to Jeshabib. The fifteenth lot fell to Bilga. The sixteenth lot fell to Immer. The seventeenth lot fell to Hezer. The eighteenth lot fell to Hapizes. The nineteenth lot fell to Pethahiah. The twentieth lot fell to Jehezkel. The twenty-first lot fell to Jachin. The twenty-second lot fell to Gamul. The twenty-third lot fell to Deliah. The twenty-fourth lot fell to Meaziah. Each group carried out its appointed duties in the house of the Lord according to the procedures established by their ancestor Aaron in obedience to the commands of the Lord, the God of Israel. Family Leaders Among the Levites These were the other family leaders descended from Levi. From the descendants of Amram, the leader was Shabul. From the descendants of Shabul, the leader was Jediah. From the descendants of Rehabiah, the leader was Ishiah. From the descendants of Hizhar, the leader was Shelemeth. From the descendants of Shelemeth, the leader was Jahath. From the descendants of Hebron, Jeriah was the leader. Amariah was second, Jehaziel was third, and Jechameam was fourth. From the descendants of Uziel, the leader was Micah. From the descendants of Micah, the leader was Shamer, along with Ishiah, the brother of Micah. From the descendants of Ishiah, the leader was Zechariah. From the descendants of Merari, the leaders were Malai and Mushai. From the descendants of Jeaziah, the leader was Bino. From the descendants of Merari, through Jeaziah, the leaders were Bino, Shoham, Zakur, and Ibri. From the descendants of Malai, the leader was Eleazar, though he had no sons. From the descendants of Kish, the leader was Jeremiel. From the descendants of Mushai, the leaders were Malai, Eder, and Jeremoth. These were the descendants of Levi in their various families. Like the descendants of Aaron, they were assigned to their duties by means of sacred lots, without regard to age or rank. Lots were drawn in the presence of King David, Zadok, Ahimelech, and the family leaders of the priests and the Levites. Duties of the Musicians David and the army commanders then appointed men from the families of Asaph, Heman, and Jeduthun to proclaim God's messages to the accompaniment of lyres, harps, and cymbals. Here is a list of their names and their work. From the sons of Asaph, there were Zakur, Joseph, Nathaniah, and Ezarela. They worked under the direction of their father Asaph, who proclaimed God's messages by the king's orders. From the sons of Jeduthun, there were Gedaliah, Zerai, Jeshaiah, Shimei, Hashabiah, and Mattathiah, six in all. They worked under the direction of their father Jeduthun, who proclaimed God's messages to the accompaniment of the lyre, offering thanks and praise to the Lord. From the sons of Heman, there were Bukiah, Mataniah, Uziel, Shubael, Jeremoth, Hananiah, Hanani, Eliatha, Gedaltai, Romantaezer, Jashbekesha, Malothi, Hathir, and Mahazioth. All these were the sons of Heman, the king's seer, for God had honored him with fourteen sons and three daughters. All these men were under the direction of their fathers as they made music at the house of the Lord. Their responsibilities included the playing of cymbals, harps, and lyres at the house of God. Asaph, Jeduthun, and Heman reported directly to the king. They and their families were all trained in making music before the Lord, and each of them, 288 in all, was an accomplished musician. The musicians were appointed to their term of service by means of sacred lots, without regard to whether they were young or old, teacher or student. 
The first lot fell to Joseph of the Asaph clan and twelve of his sons and relatives. The second lot fell to Gedaliah and twelve of his sons and relatives. The third lot fell to Zechor and twelve of his sons and relatives. The fourth lot fell to Zerai and twelve of his sons and relatives. The fifth lot fell to Nethaniah and twelve of his sons and relatives. The sixth lot fell to Bukiah and twelve of his sons and relatives. The seventh lot fell to Asarela and twelve of his sons and relatives. The eighth lot fell to Jeshaiah and twelve of his sons and relatives. The ninth lot fell to Mataniah and twelve of his sons and relatives. The tenth lot fell to Shimei and twelve of his sons and relatives. The eleventh lot fell to Uziel and twelve of his sons and relatives. The twelfth lot fell to Hashabiah and twelve of his sons and relatives. The thirteenth lot fell to Shubael and twelve of his sons and relatives. The fourteenth lot fell to Mattathiah and twelve of his sons and relatives. The fifteenth lot fell to Jeremoth and twelve of his sons and relatives. The sixteenth lot fell to Hananiah and twelve of his sons and relatives. The seventeenth lot fell to Josh Bekesha and twelve of his sons and relatives. The eighteenth lot fell to Hananiah and twelve of his sons and relatives. The nineteenth lot fell to Malathi and twelve of his sons and relatives. The twentieth lot fell to Eliatha and twelve of his sons and relatives. The twenty-first lot fell to Hathor and twelve of his sons and relatives. The twenty-second lot fell to Gedaltai and twelve of his sons and relatives. The twenty-third lot fell to Mahazioth and twelve of his sons and relatives. The twenty-fourth lot fell to Romamti Ezer and twelve of his sons and relatives.